All right, afternoon, folks. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Uh, another video mentioning about the heater core and evaporator that I did in the diesel pusher up front. And I said I was going to put in a coolant filter in the heater hose. So here's the apparatus. All right. It's together like that, kind of like your filter sediment screen on your water pump on your suction side. Notice it's a banjo T, T strainer, half inch, and it flows this way. All right, so here's the part number, LSTM 05080. That means that's an 80 strainer, yellow. They got different colors. It's got a pretty good amount of uh, screen per inch. All right, so then I bought these five eight by half inch barb. All right, part number eight seven seven zero seven five. I believe they were uh, right there about eleven dollars forty eight cents each. All right, so I'm going to use a little Teflon tape. All right, on this before I put it in the thread, we're going to use. I can't find an inch and five sixteenths, but. This is three quarters of an inch right here, upside down. Sorry about that. Three quarters goes right there. So I'm going to screw them in here. Well, before I'm going to put Teflon tape. So I'm going to put you on pause. I'll be right back. Now, when you screw this into that hole, you're screwing it in clockwise. The way the clock is, or righty tighty. You want to put your Teflon tape the opposite way, righty tighty from the other side. It's actually going to the left. That way it grabs this edge and doesn't unroll the Teflon. Put you on pause. Okay, the finished project. All right, that's an inline filter. And this is coming from the water pump bypass, right? That goes to the heater core and then this will go to the heater core. And this is where I'll put some long screws and mount it into the firewall of the RV. So here's 5 8 hose. It'll slide over there. I just want to show you how to put this together. It's a real neat little thing. I was thinking about taking this. This was stainless and cutting it. But I hate to cut a nice piece of stainless pipe like that. Um, go over to the RV. Mine and dimension, right? So, that's it, right there it is. And there's the climate control, right? That turns the hot water on and off, or to flow. I'll put it up against the firewall like that. Okay, and I'll be able to service it. I gotta put it to where I can get, get it easy. I might move this up a little bit more. All right, so. Thank you, that's Jeff from RV Diagnostics, an inline strainer, all right, on the cooling system. Remember, this thing will take up to 100 PSI. Uh, it's good temperatures. Line strainer, max operating pressure, 100 PSI. I think the operating pressure of my beaver is 14 PSI at uh, 190 degrees. So it averages out, and it's made in the USA. Amazing. All right. Safe travels and may your campfires burn bright till we meet again. Where are we going to meet? Maybe here at the garage at RV Diagnostics and Troubleshooting Garage and School. Either I can fix your RV and charge an arm and a leg, or you can help me learn how to fix your RV, troubleshooting and repair, and I'll just charge you an arm. Then uh, might meet you at the campgrounds, might meet you on the road, wave. I wave at a bunch of RVs. Don't care if you're pulling a pop up or got a slide in camper it don't matter um and fueling station getting diesel or gas all right so folks don't forget about to give me likes subscribe we're moving ahead and i think we got uh, four thousand five hundred and some subscribers thank you very much we're getting there i'd like to see six thousand by the end of the year but eh, if it don't happen it don't happen i ain't gonna sweat it um so don't forget the website, right? You get my telephone when you get the website. It's $112 a year, not bad, $9.30 a month. 
Um, what do I do there? I do one-on-one -on -one troubleshooting with you right through the video link. I'm watching you do it, whether you have an iPhone or Android or a tablet. We, we achieve all kind of ways to do it. Now, how do you get a hold of me and make an appointment to come to the garage? Or how do you get a hold of me in general? Well, you put comments in the YouTube channel. You can go to the RV Diagnostics and Troubleshooting Facebook page and join. That's at 28,000 and growing. Or you can email me at jeff at rvdiagnostics.com. All right, thank you very much. This is Jeff. I'm out of here.